Now, Claire O'Kane. Oh. I just want to say hello. First of hey. all, you, congratulations. You just, you're, you've are you been on the show how many times? You're the me of office hours. What the heck? In terms of being on this show. Well, I think I've been on this show more than more than Claire. Oh, I, I, yeah, 100%. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I would laugh. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> no, that means <laughs> true. Well, the penguin now? You go to New York and come back to penguin? Hey, man. Hey man, <laughs> give me a no. break. I just got off a plane. No, Claire, I'm not. My, okay. I'm not well. Claire is our friend, and Claire just finished a very successful season writing on Saturday, Saturday. Night Live. Yeah, when I say half that, a boy, season, half a season. Let's okay, it, it got canceled, right? Let's it come did. correct. Yeah, it got canceled. <laughs> canceled. Mid, mid, well, mid season. season, it got canceled. Yeah, yeah. So that sucks. That yeah. show's been on forever, and then they canceled it. I can't believe that. It look, and I want you to work there as long as the thing. I hope you work there a hundred years. <laughs> I hope I work Literally there one hundred years too. A hundred, which is like, look, I hope you have a hundred. Let's. Move. I hope you work there as long as you want to work there. <laughs> mm-hmm. What I hope. Yeah. Leave on your own terms. It will be the Would weird. Love that. Won't it be the weirdest day when it's suddenly just like Saturday Night Live canceled? You'll go to like Deadline and you look. It's just like SNL canceled. No reasons like, given. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, Pete Davidson's gone. Yeah. Kind of what's the point? <laughs> well, you know who's going to be the cast now. Who? Oh, congrats, Big man. Big T? They just yeah, added heard, me to the cast. I heard that. Wow, that's yeah. great. Featuring Tom. Tom no, I'm, I jumped right into the cast. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm in a one that's like above the You're right cast. before Sarah Sherman. I'm right before Squirman Sherman. Yeah. Yeah. Featuring Sharpling and Worcester. Hey, what would you do in your little um, New York nighttime moment that they film? You know, when they say oh, your yeah. name, what would you do? I would probably be scraping my shoes off of the <laughs> after coming out of the cat's men's room with the sawdust all over the floor. We're just like, really, we're gonna put sawdust here on the floor? Yeah. First of all, is this a barn? <laughs> like, it's gotta like, soak up the oh, meat. So juice. much grease. Yeah, yeah. so much grease. Like. You Are know, people doing that bad of a job in that bathroom that they're just like, we got to start putting sawdust down in this bathroom. It's so disgusting. Sawdust. What's the deal with the, uh, with the the when they pour ice in the urinals? Hey, save it for the stage. Well, I'm serious. No, oh. save it for I the mean, stage. No, it's true. Did they, have, did they have any idea how to get rid of ice? I never understood. You know why? Because hot pee smells worse than cold pee. Oh, but who's getting cool. in there? Who's yeah. getting in there? Oh, you freaky little guys. The hell are we going to do with all this ice? I don't know. Put it in the urinal. Put it in the urinal. <laughs> get where, rid of it. Where else would Just you put it? Just get rid of it. You need more urinal ice. <laughs> you clogged the normal turlet. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The trough. The trough. The trough also is the most. Trough. Going to a baseball game and in the trough. Yeah, trough. Not trough. Oh, that's the one trough. where it's like foot. This basically where your feet are. And then you're peeing oh, into that. A... There's that. Is there's that. There's that. It's like there's... also the tub. It's like like a... if you go to like a like a baseball game in a dilapidated stadium, they will <laughs> often often have this just <laughs> bin mm-hmm. that goes twenty feet down the line mm-hmm. that seems like it should be again in a barn mm-hmm. of some sort. It yeah. seems like it has something to do more with like animal husbandry than yeah, humans. I took a. a I went number <laughs> one. Wee wee. I went number one just on Sunday. Okay, wow. just on Sunday. Just on. I only go on okay. Sundays. That's very um, disciplined. Of yeah. yeah. No, but it was at this uh, beach, and it was like a public restroom. It was like late uh-huh. in the day, and the, and I started going pee, and realized as I was peeing that that was fully over. It was like one of those metal yeah. urinals, and mm-hmm. it was uh-huh. already just about to oh, crest. Terrible. Mm. It was yeah. cresting. Mm. Disgusting. These, these park bathrooms. Yeah. Cresting. <laughs> you just got to w- wet your drawers rather than <laughs> add to the problem, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't, especially a beach bathroom. I'm oh. not touching my flesh to a no. metal, well, uh, yeah. wet metal. Beach bathroom. What's the worst thing in a beach bathroom? The... <laughs> the the sheet metal as a, as mirror where they're just like I think it's the it's a bathroom we got to put some kind of mirror up here but these animals are smash a mirror let's just put some metal on the wall that's kind of reflective it's like, like who's like you yeah. look like you're like a monster like, like the elephant yeah. man when you like look at yourself in the in the sheet metal bathroom 
Yeah. I think it's just the m- tremendous amount of wadded up toilet paper in the yeah. in the toilet. It's always it's always shocking when you just realize it's just like some people have a evil agenda when it comes to bathrooms. Like yeah. they I they clearly they do. don't care about the greater good. No. No. It's just like not my problem. <laughs> I don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. No. Flush I mean, that thing? You nah. guys yeah. You guys are lucky you're not um squatters. Mm-hmm. That's what I call them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People who have to sit down and pee. Well, I don't know what you do in your private time, but I'm saying you go to these women's restrooms. The seats are soaked because nobody wants to put their little hiney on the yeah on the porcelain because they go oh no I don't get the. So then, meanwhile, they're just buckshotting the whole thing, and they're it's ruining like, it for the whole <laughs> for the, humanity, for the gender, yeah. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, bringing down the gender. Yeah. Well, I'm, this might be a little controversial, but I am uh, not. I I wouldn't gladly have be urinated on or anything like that. I wouldn't. I'm not into it. But it's not no, no, urine no. itself to me isn't the most yeah uh, disgusting thing. Uh-huh. What else is there? Well, uh, yes. That's okay. Ass. S would be poo. Oh, would be bad. Yeah. yeah, look, it's fine, Claire. You know, these are problems that you, with your fancy job, this is this is the problem. Of Speaking slobs of like me, these are the problems like slobs like me <laughs> got to deal with this stuff. Now. Slob like me, You're, baby. We were born to we we <laughs> we. <laughs> now, Claire, how are you doing? It's so nice to see you. I'm good. Like I said, I did just come away. I got. Straight off the plane, really to Derbesho. What, what, let me guess. Let me. I'm going. Don't say it. United. No, you're Delta. You're yeah, Delta. of course I'm Delta. Oh, Delta. What year do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not talking. I didn't say Continental. <laughs> TWA. Yeah, TWA. Mm. Pan Am. You mm-hmm. flew Pan Am. Today, you? <laughs> what you watch on the plane? Um, I watched a new documentary about Brian Wilson. Okay, where there are lots of shots of him um dissociating in different okay. places. But then he's meanwhile he's like, "Ooh, I remember that go kart track." Yeah, hundred like, percent. I heard about it. Where suddenly people are like, "He's out of it," and then when he sees like a milkshake stand, he's like, "I used to go there and I wrote uh four oh nine in the parking lot." <laughs> Of that, of that malt shop. Yes. He talked about the place where he dropped acid for the first yeah. time. Do you like my Brian Wilson impression? Yeah, I went to the thing. Like, <laughs> Yeah, he talks with one yeah. of those machines. Yeah, she. <laughs> I'm Brian Wilson, she. Actually, new cast member. Brian Wilson. I'd like to see him team up with uh, Squirm and Sherman. <laughs> and she'll she'll do a Mike Love impression. Yeah. I Mike Love. <laughs> <laughs> she did such an amazing job. Call she was called the best. Oh, show I heard it, and was she did one of the funniest things I think you can do, which is to be just like nobody's buying tickets to any of my shows. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, Sa- Sarah Sherman, Sarah Squirm called in last week, and she did the opposite of what you did, Tim. Where you said, "Oh, there's this one show I'd like to sell tickets to yeah. for Salt Lake City, is right. a little light, but the tour is going well." She was just like. She's like, nobody's buying any tickets to any of my shows. It's a disaster. That yeah. can't be true. Well, it's first of all, it's not true. Because then right. she starts naming. She's like, oh, that one's sold out. That right. one's yeah, sold, sold out. out. That one's yeah. sold out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, London isn't yeah, sold out. But it's like. 13 shows. Don't do 13 shows in London. What then. is she doing at the Soho Theater? She's at the, oh, yeah. Then she's, at the ha- uh, she's at Wembley. At the Haberdash. <laughs> she's playing Wembley for 13 nights. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, um, no, but she just, it was just like, just act like the thing, like. Talk it up. Make oh, it yeah, yeah. Desirable. You don't want to come out there and look weak. Man, I mean, it, this, this is the year of honesty in stand-up, yes. you know, and I think you kind of have to be vulnerable now. It really is because this uh, – I heard there's this George Carlton documentary that everybody mm-hmm. loves because he was a truth teller and he was like, mm-hmm. you can't walk down a sidewalk, but you can ride your bike on a highway. <laughs> <laughs> People park uh-huh. in a driveway. They drive on the parkway. It's like, wait, what is this for three year olds? This is really it, the truth I mean, teller. The worst thing though was at the end when he was just like, everything is trash. Yeah. Good, go get stuck no, in a car fire. There's no point in anything. Yeah. Uh, you're just mm-hmm. like, 
You ever wonder why you even get up in the morning? Like, yeah, because you're alive. Yeah. Look, well, see what happened to him? He's not my guy. George Carlton's not my favorite. <laughs> hey, who are your guys? Who are my guys? Um, great question. Uh, I like uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> Now that's a guy. Because I'm going down and I'm saying, Pop, what oh are we God. trying to do here? <laughs> I feel like my father's like. What are you going to Tom's face is doing right it's now? It's really he, weird. But that's what he does. He's like, You ever go to the salad bar? And they're yeah. like, Mer. He's like moving around. You're just like, Yikes. You're really selling this yeah. stuff. For Starbucks at the tall. I go to cup. Starbucks and they're like, I want to pour the thing for you. And it's like, I would love to see him. I want to see him at MSG. That's my mm -hmm. kind of my life goal. I want to see him eat some MSG. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Claire Calls. is in the studio, so I have to do this. Oh, no, I don't have to do. Hold on. Alert. Alert. Famous person in the studio. There is a famous person in the studio. <laughs> it's a, the best show has changed since you've last. Been. Yeah, I guess we have sounds. I like these new these new digs. You like this? Yeah. What is that pad? Oh, it's called an iPad, and it's made by a fun new company called Apple. Well, that's mm. cute. It's a the record cool. label. No, it's different. <laughs> it's a, it's you a, mean a, the Beatles? It's not the Beatles. <laughs> They're calling it Apple. You know, I was uh, thinking we'd make computers. With the, like... I was just rewatching uh, Forrest Gump, of course. My yearly As watch, does. good movie, and of course there was an Apple shout out where mm -hmm. he goes, and the, I, I accidentally bought stock in this thing called Apple. I don't know what they do. Oh God, he was there for everything, man. Do you, you think the uh, Do you think the guys, the Hollywood people, are pitching around like a, a Forrest Gump <laughs> sling blade, like kind of <laughs> like duo, like Alien versus <laughs> Predator? <laughs> was that around the same mm -hmm. time? Mm -hmm. Forrest Gump versus Sling Blade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. I'll make you some nice potatoes. So it'd be potatoes versus chocolate. chocolate. Or, yeah, or <laughs> shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp versus Excuse me, potatoes. Excuse me, yeah. sir. I could put some nice fried potatoes with them shrimp. <laughs> well, all right, then. Why don't you call in? I don't remember how Forrest Gump. Something like that. Something like that. Mama told me. Mama told me. chocolate. Wow. Look. I can't mm -hmm. watch that thing. I watched that thing once. I thought it sucked when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> everybody else is crying and everything. Yeah. You were I mean, at the perfect age for you to think that sucked. Like I said, yeah, I totally. Myself, like the bard says, I've been broken, shattered like an empty cup. Oh. You know what song they got in that movie? <laughs> Covenant Woman. What's that? Something happened in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got them all. I always love when you watch a movie like that and suddenly it's like the Vietnam War is going and it's like, it's like There must be some kind of way out of here. You know what's funny? We ever talked about that song for what it's worth, why that was written, what the what the impetus of that was. So it's, stupid. It was, it was uh, kids curfew. Were, yeah, yeah they were, they were, on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't letting kids stay up to to see Rich Sonny kids. and Cher <laughs> play Ciro's. Canned heat. We want to go see Sonny and Shara playing Zeros. <laughs> All right, kids, everybody. Woo! Really? woo. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that was. Uh, do you know where Zeros? Do you know what Zeros? Yes, the comedy is? store. It's the comedy store. Yes. Yeah. Really? The store. Yeah. We call it the store. The store. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, have you ever performed at the store, Tom? Tom. Tom. Tim? Tom? Yeah. Uh, no. I Tim. I did my bad stand-up character there once mm -hmm. for an unsuspecting crowd, oh. and mm. I wish there were hidden cameras. But it was very, did not go over well. It was a long time ago. And the guy that was managing it or running it was very kind, but treated me like I was Forrest Gump a little bit. Uh -huh. Just been like, hey, man, you know, you just got to keep working on it. Just keep getting up there. <laughs> yeah. And maybe this isn't the right place for you to start. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of attitude. And at this point, you had fully been on television. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. had an, act yeah. an active successful career going yeah and i was just doing this as a goof yeah for my friends well we but. should go sneak over there paint your name on the wall i had a bad another bad experience be there because i went to the brody stevens memorial there mm -hmm. sure and i was invited because i was friends with him and mm -hmm. somebody knew that and they invited me and i got there and it was a lot of the comedy store people obviously they're mm -hmm. the, the hardened stand-up people who are just not a lot yeah. of them are not very pleasant you know what? and the, and they were like 
Who are you? And they just gave me like you like I shouldn't be here. Yeah. Gave me a real attitude and made me feel bad that I was even there. And I was like, I was asked to come here by like his yeah. friend. And he's a friend yeah. of mine. Like, yeah. sorry, I'm not like doing five minute chunks at midnight in the belly room. Well, then you haven't really <laughs> paid your dues. Yeah. yeah. No, I um I don't like the energy there at all. It's spooky. Yeah. For Seems lack of a better word. Legit evil. Seems like yeah. It well, they still have that Chris D'Elia going up there. Yeah. Like they have him actively going up and doing stand up comedy there. Hey, what's wrong with him? <laughs> okay. I you gotta wrap uh, things up. We're he's actually really a, good friends. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Claire. No, he's um. Yeah, that place. It would not surprise me if they if they revealed that there was like some portal. <laughs> yeah. Like, to like hell David under <laughs> like underneath yeah. it, like it's Evil Dead. <laughs> Like yeah. don't don't pull those floorboards up. Yeah, the Necronomicon there's, is underneath them. There's like a the corpse of Sam Kinison there, like you know, yeah. guarding the gates. Boy, he must have uh, <laughs> been a fun fella to be around. Yeah. Just imagine the, in real time. Yeah, being around him. Yeah, like not a fun hang. Just not, not yeah. just like clowning around. Just off hours when yeah. he's like pacing around, not feeling well because he. Because he, he got too famous he, too quick. He got, yeah, and maybe he partied a little too hard and he's just in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to be just like, like dealing with that. Yeah. And he's so smelly because he's sweating from that <laughs> full like overcoat. Like weird booze sweats. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also yeah, and he's wearing Smoking. just like his long overcoat, oh, like tweed, like these. Yeah. Like In the, Los Angeles. Like, yeah. Like the, and a cap. Yeah. <laughs> like that. A wool cap. A wool cap. <laughs> a heavy overcoat. Yeah. <laughs> In Los Angeles. Yeah. Material that does not breathe. <laughs> and he's screaming. Yeah. Uncle Fester he's looking. Like, <laughs> every day's like, I'm mad. I'm mad oh, at oh, everything. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that said, I if I was around back then, I probably would have dated him. Just given my track get, record. Oh, you like the troubled ones. I like them loud. Well, I always think Pete Davidson's kind of our modern day, uh, um, whoever we were just talking about. <laughs> I want to say this about <laughs> Sam Kinison. I'm going to say this about Pete Davidson and it's God's honest truth. I think Pete Davidson is a legitimately good actor. And I think, I do think he acting is where he should be. I've never seen him in a movie. I think I he's seriously, a good actor too. I believe, I say in my being completely sincere, I think he's. I think he is much more compelling as an actor than as like a sketch dude or whatever. Yeah, and he's interesting looking in the way that. Well, he's interesting looking. Yeah. Acting, if you're interesting looking, can be very easy. Totally sure. Like a John Polito, mm-hmm. or a, who are some of the maniacs that you've cast over the years? Oh, geez, uh, Ray Wise. Ray Wise. Ray, Ray Wise just shows up. Yeah. He just, he's he, got the look. He he's heard got the intensity. That, he heard that some cameras got rented. Like Jeff Goldblum, got to be sure. easy for him. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, of okay, course. okay. Oh, oh dinosaurs. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Dinosaurs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in the movie. All right. Okay. That so you've weird. had, you've done stuff with him. Sure. Ray. Ray. Wise, as we said, do you know Ray Wise? I the, don't. The dad on Twin Peaks. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Very intense. Yeah. Guy with the very nice guy, amazing and head of hair. Yes. I should say he's very nice and very professional, and and is yeah. Not, I'm not. I'm, no, just, I'm he's joking. Great. It's not no, no, so easy to do. He's Look, a character I, actor. I give credit if you are in this line of work and you keep grinding it out and you ride the lows and you go up and down and up and down. Yeah. God bless you. You know who are God always the get the great GB. gets for us and who are most the most fun were the sitcom actors like Michael Gross from Family mm-hmm. Ties. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh Alan Thick we had on, wow. a couple of these people. Uh Patrick Dempsey. Sure. Oh. No, not Patrick uh Pat uh he was one of the dads on one of those old shows. Patrick Dempsey. Oh, you're is, talking about Patrick. You're talking about the guy from who was on uh, the just, sitcom with Suzanne Summers. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? The guy from Dallas, Patrick Duffy. Patrick Duffy, thank you. Saved my butt. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Clarence. That was louder than it would have been on the mic, I think. <laughs> Somehow it reverberated. And but then you, good studio. You also slid three feet away <laughs> so that I was watching to see what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. well, you drew all the attention to yourself, and then you go, Ugh. I can't drink. What is this? What is this? Lacrosse. Well, you can't be you're doing a this. writer. 
You should I be know. able to drink that. You know what I've been drinking? Bubbly. Mu- mushroom coffee. Oh, wait. Is this going to turn into one of these ads? Mush- mud water. Is that water. what she's here to do? I want to talk to you all about, no. Mud water. <laughs> You ever have this? I got, I keep getting, it it keeps being advertised to me. And Mm -hmm. then I looked into the reviews and and somebody was like, this tastes like garbage. Tastes like dirt. So Mm -hmm. I don't want, I forget it. But it does, Mm -hmm. it's some, it's coffee-ish enough. I haven't had coffee in a couple months. Because of that? And I feel great. Okay. I feel great and I drink coffee every day. I feel great. Mm -hmm. I don't have these like, I I feel bad because I drink coffee. I drink coffee, I feel fine. Yeah. See, I drink coffee, I feel bad. Oh, really? You crash? I crash. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what you got to do? Hmm. You get, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go get five, five hour energy drinks. Mm-hmm. You can set the little timer on your phone. Mm-hmm. Five hours. Every time. Bing. You'll never have that, that caffeine you hangover stay, ever again. Yeah. Stay up at that level. Yeah. That, I could write up. so many sketches. <clears throat> yeah. About um, Roe v. Wade. Yeah. What's the format, the format? Page format for a sketch these days is it a is it like a screenplay? It's simpler than that. Simpler, than yeah. That. It's a lot mm-hmm. of stuff in parentheses. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's like the like the bard said. You know, peace will come with tranquility and splendor on the wheels of fire, but will offer no reward when her false idols fall. That didn't even rhyme. Do you know what song that is? Uh, no. Changing the guards. Changing the guards. Street illegal. Street illegal. Yes. <laughs> the second song on that record is. I've got a new pony. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yes. Uh, I mean, who's that? Uh, Bob Dylan. Oh. <laughs> hey, my money. Yeah, that's hey, they should oh, put me on the show. Hey, oh, Tom, man. I wanted to. I, hey, this my is, money. I'll send this to you. I almost suggested we try to do it, but What's that? Th- did you ever hear Bob on that show Rockline? He was he was on it in the eighties no. doing Empire Burlesque, Unbelievable. and it is the greatest. He's just, he's fairly pleasant. So it's like, I'm Jim Lang. I'm here with Bob it, Dylan. We can I, do it right now. Go ahead. And you <laughs> pretend to be a caller. Okay. Who's like, just happy to call. Okay. Like, I'm yeah. here with, we have Bob Dylan in the studio, whose new album, Empire Burlesque, is in stores now. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Happy let's, to be uh, here. Let's take a call. All right. Uh, Claire, you're on with Bob Dylan on Rockline. I just want to say, Bob, I'm a huge fan. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> His that was it, and, <laughs> and then it, and that's it. And people are like waiting for more. Yeah, and then maybe somebody, Mr. Dolan, uh, just want to say it's an honor to speak with you, and you have meant so much to me over the years. I just had a quick question about your process, whether or not you. Start with the lyrics, or if you start with the music, how does that mm-hmm. work? And I'll take the call. And they're, they're very professional, and you know, they're very like, I'm just going to get off, you know, I'm going to say my thing. I'm very nervous. Mm-hmm. So I just wonder if you do the music first, or uh, what is it, uh, the the lyrics. Thank you. I don't know. It, uh, yeah, I guess it depends. Depends. This on is a song from the play The Damn Yankees. <laughs> I don't mean the band that Ted Nugent is in with those guys with sticks. Yeah. Damn Yankees is a musical comedy, <laughs> a modern retelling of the Faust legend set in Washington, D.C. It opened on Broadway in 1955, Broadway. starring Gwen Verdon and Ray Walston. <laughs> in baseball, like all of life, you got to have heart. You got to have hope. Mustn't sit around and mope. Nothing half as bad as it may appear. Wait till next year and hope. When your luck is batting zero, get your chin up off the floor. Mister, you can be a hero. Yeah. You'll love it. It's I exactly like that man with Ted Nugent and the guys from <laughs> Sticks. He said that at one point. It's not like it's not Ted the Nugent. band with Ted Nugent and the Those guys, guys from, from Sticks. Sticks. And this poor host, whoever was doing Rockline, mm-hmm. just trying to keep it going, yeah. keep it moving. That's, that's very interesting, Bob. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, let's take another call then. <laughs> Did you ever hear Dylan with the um, like the? The local kids, the well, the local kids. Where he's like, "You guys like rat?" Yeah. Oh, I it's love one of that. The craziest thing. And then he then he sees the uh, the wrestler, Big John Grundy uh-huh. or something like that, and yeah. he's like, he's into it. Yeah. Bob's like a fan. It's funny, man. How about the Dylan? Do you ever hear the one when he's talking to uh, the garbologist, uh, the guy who 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 would record? Oh him, yeah, like the like he recorded. go through his garbage. Yeah, it's the greatest thing. This guy AJ Weberman. Um, and these things get pulled a lot from 
from yeah you know from the internet from the internet but um this guy just recorded so much. I went on and gave Dylan a rap against imperialism, racism, and sexism. He didn't seem like he was listening. And then I told him that Nashville Skyline sucked while Self Portrait was a stone <laughs> ripoff since many people bought it, played it once, and stuck it on their shelf. Neither album related to objective reality. Dylan responded quietly. Well, they were two good songs on Self Portrait. Days of 49, Copper Kettle. I, uh, you know, you don't have to change this, man, but I'll, I'll, I'll say there were more than two. I'll still say there are more you two. I did say that I more two, but I mean, uh, you know, it, you don't have to change it. You can leave it like that, but I, there are more than two. You imagine if lunatics two. just called me at my home mm-hmm. and I just took the call yeah. and took <laughs> oh, them yeah. seriously. Yeah. Oh, no, this guy yeah. is talking like <laughs> for hours with for him. hours. And he's just like, I, I want to drop the article <laughs> off. I want to drop the article off for you to read it. Uh, I could break it by the studio. And he's like, he's like, oh, man, I'm not going to be at the studio uh, this week. He's like, uh, Bring it, bring it by Tuesdays. Like, oh, I can bring it by tomorrow. And he literally says, um, "It's like, nah, man, I gotta build these shelves at home. It's yeah. like my wife's gonna kill me if I don't build these shelves." Which is the greatest <laughs> thing that Bob Dylan yeah. is building shelves yeah. before Sarah gets mad at him. <laughs> nah, man, I gotta build these shelves. <laughs> man, my old lady is starting to come down hard on me. He's like, "I'm gonna write a song about you, man. I'm gonna call it Pig." And he's like, uh, you're right. Oh, I'd be able to write a song about me. It's like, this is the greatest thing the guy ever heard. He's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Like, he just <laughs> takes it away from, he realizes the guy's too into it. Yeah. That, he dug through people's trash? Well, the whole thing is he he was a Bob Dylan obsessive in the sure. late 60s, in the 60s, and was like, well, the key to Bob Dylan, do you want to figure out who he is? Let's go through his garbage that he leaves out, that he puts in the garbage can outside his apartment. Wow. And he would grab the garbage bag, take it home, and then start sorting mm. through. He'd be like, oh, well, here's a prescription bottle, and here's yeah. uh, some paperwork. And here, and he would just kind of assemble these theories about Bob. And he wrote a book about it, and yeah. it's just It's like nuts. Num- numerology and yeah, stuff, or it, symbols. and It's so cool. off, the, it's off the rails. Wacko. Yeah. yeah. I hope he's doing all right. He was just on that Jokerman podcast. They had him on. Did they really? It was just nonsense for an hour. No, he's bonkers. He's like a fried dude. He's a super. He says that Bob Dylan has AIDS, Mm -hmm. right? That was one of his big things is that Bob Dylan has AIDS and has been Mm -hmm. living with it for many years. So I don't have AIDS. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know if I have it. Don't know if I will. Don't know if I will. Don't know if I will. Don't know if I won't. What would have happened at the show if you would have yelled something out? What do you think he would have done? <laughs> at the bottom. Like, did you feel, you know, he can... I feel that temptation when I'm in. The yeah. Scene, and I'm never going to. Judas. Like, yeah, you just go, you're still a Judas. <laughs> yeah. Still a Judas. Oh. 68 years later. <laughs> still Judas. Well, he yelled at somebody in the audience, which people are saying. I talked to some people and they're like, uh-huh. like, you got a good experience because this doesn't happen all that often. But he goes. Don't be taking no pictures. Don't be taking pictures of me. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I know you won't be. You put that away. Mm-hmm. And who knows what he was looking at. Did sure. you see that thing? There was a review of his show in San Diego or in, and in Long Beach where he had the house lights up the whole time and oh, the heard, stage yeah. lights were down. Yeah. <gasps> and the, somebody asked if they could fix that. And they go, it's uh, at the request of the artist. So oh my that's God. amazing. Let's see here. Take a call. Oh, yeah. Here. Best show. Hi. Hello. Hello. Who's this? It's How are you? Wiederman. My name is Eric. I'm calling from Youngstown, Ohio. No, mm, you sound like a tough guy. No, not at all. I'm actually very, very nice. All right. No, tough guys can be nice. So what's up, Tougher Eric? than yeah. the rest. <laughs> He's tougher than the rest. Uh, I'm calling because I'm super thrilled that Tim is on the show tonight. Uh, Me too. Yeah, I've thanks. listened to both of uh, Tom's guest appearances on Office Hours, and I wanted to call because the first time that I ever heard of Tim Heidecker uh, was when he called in to the best That's show really to promote Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job, which was premiering on Adult Swim. Co- uh, Comedy and Central. He and Eric, I'm sorry, Comedy Central. And he called in with Eric to promote and they were also calling into other radio shows and doing promotion at yes, the same that was time very funny. So the same time that they were doing oh. the promotional interview with you tom <laughs> yeah they were doing promotional interviews <laughs> no, that was great that's a good a bit. Few other people it was a great bit it was a great bit so i watched the show 
and I've been a huge fan ever since. And I have tickets to the Pittsburgh show. Awesome. At the Rock Scene Theater. Nice. And I'm super excited. Uh, General Mission? To, uh, to see the show. General Mission, uh, seated? Uh, we're in the... We're in the bathroom. My wife got it for me for Father's Day. Oh, that's Aww. nice. That's nice. Your wife is yeah. your, is so your daughter? Front, front row. It's uh, weird. She, she's like, ah, I don't want to go with you, but I'll buy you. Something. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to do something for you. Tom, if you can make this happen, if What's you can that? assist me in yeah. this, I'd like to bump you up to VIP. Oh, look at this. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. I, I think what we have to do is- Eric? Eric from Pitt, from yeah. Youngstown, Ohio. Drop me a line, Eric. But the only thing I'm going to warn you is, as far as Tim concerned, VIP means vermin in parking lot. <laughs> it means you will not be allowed in the venue. <laughs> you will be stuck in the parking lot. You will be vermin in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, you got VIP treatment. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. your tickets up. You got right. VIP as vermin in the parking lot. Oh, no, for, for real, uh, oh, why at, not? Right? Look at that. Okay, Eric, you, you shoot me a, a, an email. Sorry, I'm making Tom do all this work. No, this work is amazing. Here. No, this is amazing. That's dreams really, really nice. do come true. Yeah, because he said he's sitting in the balcony. He wasn't yeah. sitting in the damn balcony. Yeah, yeah. I, right. I would have been thrilled sitting in the balcony. I was right. Well, you want to sit in the you, balcony? You, go back work, to the fucking what you, balcony. No, what are you no, working no, no. against? I mean, I, you're I'm working sure, against sure, your sure, case here, whatever. buddy. It's your kind of just like, nah, I'll take the back row. I'd be happy to sit. I'd be happy to sit on the toilet while the show's going on. The people, the people, the people who are sitting next to me in the balcony will have lots of elbow room. There you go. Look, Eric, you shoot me a message, and we'll make this happen. Dreams really do come true on the best show. Thanks for calling. (laughs) Let's see. We got another call here coming in. Let's talk to this. What's that now? What Springsteen song mentions Young? I was going to say uh, yeah, it's it's like what I know Springsteen said song it. mentions Youngstown, Ohio. I know this. Pop something please. on Nebra- something on Nebraska. Later nineties. Oh, then I don't know. Tom Joad. Fifty seven channels. Yeah, you got in. it. You Tom got Jode? it. Tom Joad. <laughs> Look at that. He got even. He, he hits. He hits a bullseye. He's not even trying. Best show. Welcome to the show. Who's on the Who's on the line? Hello. Uh, Casey. Okay, Hello. and uh, Casey we... Jones from the Grateful Dead song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Casey? Right in that uh, trade. Uh, the whole catalog, right? Casey, your phone's a little crackly. Is yeah, there but anything he's got you can good do stuff about? here. Oh, compliments. Is this better? Not really, but you've been on hold a long time, and I don't want to uh, penalize you for that. What? Uh, what? What do you got? Okay, is this better? No, it's not. It's still not better. But let's pretend like we're talking to an alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, all, all I wanted to say was... Uh, I'm a poltergeist. I've loved, uh, so far, it's very special to me. Oh, thank you. So uh, far, the Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young you. recap podcast that yep. I did for the last two and a half years with Mike and Pat and Dudio, who is on assignment tonight. Yes. Thank it's, you. Uh, yeah. My uh, experience is uh, very similar to uh, Jason's. I, uh, I you know, so it's a real emotional realm. journey for me. Because uh, my dad is like, maybe the, you know, I'm uh, in the top 10 of the mm-hmm. Stephen Sills fans in the world. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Your phone, it really I, is uh, like talking. I feel like uh, I'm going to have to get somebody to say this house is clean. Based on the way uh, you're talking, it's. I wish your connection, Casey. This is what I'm going to promise you: you call back anytime you go to the front of the line. You got it, Tom. Front of the Thank line, you, but not tonight. You're great to hear from Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Claire, what was the biggest thrill working on SNL this year? What was the biggest thrill for you? I got a sketch on. Okay. I was. Okay. Exciting. That is exciting. At the what they call the ten to one spot. Yeah, that's Tom, the you know one about that's this? for the writers. It's for the writers. The weird stuff. And you gotta go to wait till the very last minute and they go, Okay, can you cut out um like five pages of this mm-hmm. in thirty seconds? Yeah. And you go, Yeah. And you gotta run around and give everybody the notes and stuff mm-hmm. and, and, and then they, they hub too though, right? Then they, they hub too. too. Right? Yeah. You're just like in Mikey Day hub too. Right, you're Mikey like, hop to Mikey Day. Mikey Day. Mikey Day, hop to. Keenan. Does he bring all that cake on the thing from Is It Cake? <laughs> Does he walk around bowling balls saying, like, do you think this is cake? I wish. You ever well, watch that show, the, Tim? What's her? SNL? Sh- on Netflix, there's a show called Is This Cake? No. 
and it's hosted by uh, Mikey Day from oh. SNL, where he'll be just like, I got a bowling ball. Uh, and then I got cake that looks like a bowling mm, sure. ball. Which I've is seen, which. I've seen the uh, Instagram. So they do it. Se- you're 70 feet away from the thing. So he'll be like, here's Fortune Fimster. Uh, is that cake or a bowling ball? And, and she's 70 feet away. She's like, I don't know. I, yeah. I can barely. I'm just can't, squinting. Can't see also, it doesn't nothing. matter. Yeah. <laughs> also, well, yeah, it first doesn't of all, matter. <laughs> yeah, cancel the show. You start applying that to everything. <laughs> yeah, this for sure. Matter. Like George Carlin. Yeah. Garbage. What was the sketch? Can you name it? It was. <laughs> they're never ha- they're never proud of the sketch. No. I would be so excited. It was excited. my first no. sketch. I'd be talking all the time about my sketch. It was a music musical sketch. Okay. I love, well, congrats. That's I wrote awesome. some songs. From I'm very proud of you. Clint. You know, Thank I got you. a joke. I got a joke on SNL once. A what? sanctioned joke. What? You know about this? No. It's very exciting. This was years ago when mm-hmm. Fred Armisen was on Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. So this is a while ago. Yes. And we were doing, I was joking with him. I, I don't know, remember. Don't, just ignore this. Guy. Okay. Anyways, I made a joke. I said, I'm on this diet. This um, All I eat are bagels. I, just, I can have as many bagels as I want, but that's all I can eat. Mm-hmm. So I'm eating like 30 bagels a day. Yeah. And he thought that was funny. And then like a couple weeks later, he wrote me. He's like, could I use that? Can I use that as a joke in the show? And I said, yeah, I'd be honored. So it was official. And you did it. And I did it. It's amazing. That's cool. I mean, it was just a thing I said. It's not like I sat down and wrote it out. Look. But it's legit. Then it's on TV. You're a part of the pantheon now. Absolutely. I mean, it's and it's. Beryl. Belushi. Shannon. Shannon. Katan. Katan. Katan, George Coe, Brad Hall, Anthony Brad. Michael Hall, Anthony Michael Hall. I met Brad Hall the, the other kids day. Kids in the hall. He was a delight. You met who? Brad Hall. You did. Yeah. Did a, did a thing with him, and he was a very very uh, delightful person. Seems very very funny. Yeah. Uh, some would call him the uh, he's the partner of uh, Julie, Julie Louis Dreyfus. <laughs> yes. Caller, are you on? Oh, hold on. Hello? Saturday night. Hi, welcome to the show. Who's this? <laughs> Hi, this is Oscar. How's it going? Good. How are you, Oscar? Where are you calling from? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. You know oh. that weird pizza today? Ask him how Felix is doing. Huh? No. No, I, I made a promise to myself to only eat one pizza a month because I don't want to gain more weight. Yeah. Story of my life. I'm actually on uh, a uh, seafood. Is... <laughs> <laughs> You're on the seafood diet. I'm actually on a seafood diet lately, um, and uh, when I see food, I eat it. Right, but that's a joke. Uh, but you know, seriously, I'm actually on a uh, <laughs> an actual seafood. Yeah, diet. actually, no, I did go to. I'm on, a, I'm on a, a, a seas uh, diet. When I seas candy, Chocolates, I eat it. Yeah. Um, Oscar, what do you got for us? Well, uh, you were talking about dr- uh, bands with two drummers, and I I uh, wanted to ask you about King Crimson. Well, mm. King Crimson, three drummers, my friend, three. Three drummers? Yeah, three. I thought it was two. That's a lot. It's three. Dun 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 dun. And things like. That's are there any other business. bands that have three drummers? Three drummers? No. Not unless they're marching around a football field. <laughs> or David Byrne on stage. Or David Byrne yeah. dancing around in his uh, beach outfit. In his Banana Republic suit. Yeah. Where he's just like, yeah. I like how everybody's like, oh, David Byrne's a genius. Meanwhile, they abandoned him for 30 years, people. <laughs> they st- they have ignored him for 30 years. So like, I always love David Byrne. It's yeah. like, no, you haven't. No. This guy was in the tank for for t- t- 28 years. I saw David Byrne open for Yola Tango on one of the Hanukkah shows. Wow. wow. And he did that. And some jerk in yelled, you're washed up or some mm. like, and th- like, it's like you're getting the... <laughs> <laughs> the gift of seeing this guy in a 200 seat Jeez. place uh, and you're going to yell at him? No. Sick. Not on Sick my watch. Sad. Not on my, that's what I said. No, I took the guy, I beat the crap out of him <laughs> right on Washington Avenue. His brain brains are still all, oh, they're geez. still scrubbing him wow. off the Oh, that's street. pretty bad. It was brutal. He's dead. I killed him. 
I'm not going to wear <laughs> shoes on my sh- at my show. I'm not going to wear shoes on stage. Yeah. That'll be that'll be what I do. That's not safe. Oscar, I'm being told you have something to add to the perfect albums discussion. Well, I wanted to ask you guys uh, what your favorite albums are to guess. Because one of the albums I wanted to uh, bring up was Pink Floyd The Wall, but I, I don't know if that would be too generic. Well, look, it may, might not be my go-to album. It might be maybe one of my least favorite Pink Floyd albums. As much as I love seeing The Wall live, it's one that of the best great. things I've ever yeah, seen. It was great. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go see that live. Mother, do you think they dropped the bomb? I never, I, when you saw that thing live, you saw yeah. it out here, right? Yeah. In LA. I saw yeah, it in, I saw it. Yeah. okay, call I'm talking to Tim Ryan. So I saw it. Sorry. I'm watching this thing. The show starts. Boom. Boom. It was like, so yeah, thank Jed. Might like, like to, to go, go to, to the, the show. show. <laughs> and then, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> is there something wrong with your sunshine? <laughs> And then suddenly it's Pink like... Pink isn't well. Yeah. You're gonna go from this place. Boom. But then you're just like, oh, that's one thing. And he goes, lights. And the lights go. He's like, camera. And then suddenly a plane flies over your head. And crashes right in the wall. I was like, I started like almost like hyperventilating. Shaking, yeah. I was like, this, what's going to happen? This is the first five minutes of this show. A plane just flew. Yeah. And like... A not small plane, no. Claire. And like, then there's point. a moment. This was when I saw it. I think you saw the stadium tour. We saw the arena tour. Mm-hmm. So it was probably a year before you saw it. And so it was maybe a little smaller. It was mm-hmm. still in, insane. But this was right at towards the end of the Iraq war. Mm-hmm. And it was the not raw nerves yeah. for military people, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And the, the bring the boys back. Bring the boys yeah. Yeah. back home. I was going to bring that And up. Yeah. they started this montage of soldiers mm-hmm. coming home. Yeah, I'm. I'm not getting. I, I just am choking on my. Yeah. but um, I am getting Same choked here. on. They started showing those. You know those videos where they they surprise the kid at the little league. Yeah. They're showing that my wife and I bawling, oh yeah. like sobbing. Yeah, and the, because of the the whole. I mean, because it was a very specific yeah. emotional thing, but also your senses are just getting pounded mm-hmm. for hours at that show. Ugh. Oh, it's unbe- it's, it's so unbelievable. Yeah, but I, the wall not not a perfect album. No, between. Uh, in the intermission between uh, halves, uh, you'd go into the like the vestibule at the stadium, and then people would be like, "I just don't know why it has to be so political. Mm. I just don't know why it has to be so political. I mean, I come here to see the songs. It's like, yeah, the word wasn't out on this. Did I ever? I did I ever tell you this story? This is a short story, but saw Springsteen around the same time, mm-hmm. Iraq War, and Springsteen was very vocal yeah. of, of, against torture and all the, yeah. you know, the mm-hmm. t- against Cheney and everything. And we get there a little early, and it's an arena show, of course. It's like, it's going to start at eight, but it's it's like, you know, people are coming in. There's no opening act. Mm-hmm. No one's, there's no, yeah. cl- there's no question about how the night's going to go. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's going to come out. But it's eight o'clock and the mm-hmm. lights are still up and people are still coming in. Mm-hmm. There's this couple like dressed in full denim, you know, kind of rednecky Trump mm-hmm. type people sitting mm-hmm. behind me. And I swear to God, 8.05, my, Marilyn and I are sitting there, my wife, 8.05, this guy goes, come on! <laughs> Full volume. Come on! And I'm, she, like, does this guy not like, know like what's going to happen? Like, yeah. damn show like, for him. He's yeah. going to come out. Yeah. And so then the show starts about halfway through, Bruce does his like political speech yeah. about we got to protect our... Bill of Rights, and you yeah. know, this is not mm-hmm. what our country is about, and all this stuff. I look back a couple songs later, they're gone. Yeah, wow. they split. You, they must have hated that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just mad at it. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> dummies. Joni Mitchell Blue, perfect. There you though. go, Joni Mitchell Blue. Um, who the who's who's Tommy? What's that? The who's Tommy? That's, okay, okay. But it, when you're gonna say, well, there's a couple of duds in there, but you kind of need you I'm need all of wicked it. Wicked Uncle okay. Ernie, yeah, you love it. You're listening to Wicked Uncle Ernie. That's my favorite. Song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or fiddling um, about fiddling about <laughs> fiddling about. <laughs> I like uh, um, good morning, Columbus. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. That's a great album. Yeah. Top That's to bottom. Top to bottom. Yeah. T- title TK by the Breeders, mm-hmm. which I remember because yeah. I'm wearing the shirt. You're wearing the shirt. Mm. You were in a freaking Pink, breeder show. Oh, Pink Moon by Pink Moon by Nick, Nick Drake. Drake. Nick Thune. Pink Moon the Nick Thune. Pink Thune. <laughs> you should do that. Yeah. 
He should do that. Yeah. He should. Let's get it. Uh, <laughs> anybody got his number? Get him on hey, the man, horn. you should do Pink Thune. <laughs> He's just like, what? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> uh, there you go, Oscar. Yeah. That's good. Bang, good, bang. Enough. good enough. Remember when... Uh, Oh, wait, I want to just get through these calls because these people did hold on for a long time. But uh, Of course. Yeah, Pink Moon is uh, amazing. It's sustained mood. It's perfect late night drive album when it's spooky, right? Yeah, I'm telling you. What's your favorite album to listen to in the middle of the night? Hello. Astro Weeks. You like yeah. Astro Weeks? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Van Morrison guy. Mm-hmm. I like the new stuff. Yeah. I like the new I just, stuff. I just like one <laughs> album, his most recent. <laughs> I'll say this. His voice, mm-hmm. on, even on the, on the new songs, yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah. They're insane. I mean, yeah. I, you should kind of like it because it's he's crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. hilarious. If it wasn't like, it's Why, you weirdly Facebook? admirable how yeah. <laughs> bonkers <laughs> he yeah. is and how publicly bonkers yeah. he is. and grouchy. And, and he's also mm-hmm. like... He ain't moving the needle on it. Nobody's just like, I thought I was in favor of yeah. uh, this and now. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but his voice is as good as it is. I mean, really if you like good. his voice, yeah. it sounds just like, you know, it hasn't deteriorated. Yeah. I was wearing a mask and then Van Morrison started talking, but now I don't wear one anymore. Yeah. No, it's not affecting anything. Best show. Hi. Hi, this is uh, Tim in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Ah, uh, Tim in Haddonfield, New Jersey. What's up? So we've had friend? an Eric call and a Tim call. We've had, yeah, it's almost like the new Tim <laughs> and Eric. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I feel I feel like the uh, rock line caller calling in because I'm excited and nervous because I'm talking to two of my idols. You guys are the best. Um, which which Tim? Tom, I loved your book. Wait, and Claire Claire Greatest. Payne is just uh, just a and, and Claire too. I'm a, sorry, and Claire a pile too. of garbage <laughs> laying there. No. Two icons. <laughs> oh, my chopped cheese. And Claire O'Keen. <laughs> no. No, it's okay. You don't got to know me. Look, don't Claire, forget my name. Claire. Lose my number. You, you are, you're uh you're like uh, 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 a new classic. You're like uh you're like, like new coke? Uh, no, no, like uh, uh Shawshank Redemption. Ah. Like oh. a new classic. Like when you go on that Delta flight and it's got classics and it's yeah. got movies from like 3 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. classics. Yeah. Gr- grumpy old man. Yeah. I'll, take three. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Hangover three. Yeah. Hangover classic. three. Comedy zero. Yeah. Where, 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 where should we? How should we? Delta movie guy. Where should we classify? How should we yeah. classify? Uh, Hangover classic. three. Cla- <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> guy, guy's just right, sliding the. He's like right next to Citizen Kane. Yeah. He's just, <laughs> yeah, just put him on classics. I got to get out of here. Yeah. It's either a new release or a classic. <laughs> well, it's it's not new. So I guess it's got to be classic then. Because <laughs> Hangover 3 is classic. <laughs> Hangover 3. Yikes. <laughs> that was one where it's like, e- that's a full on. Uh, Cash grab. I hope you all bought nice things. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> this was not good. I know you like it though. Hangover three. Yeah. That was yeah. one where I was that's one where I was like, I don't know if I can make it. This is a ninety five minute movie. It was like short and I was still just like, this one's rough. Is that where they go to Thailand? That's two. What happens in three? Back to Vegas. I think they mm. end up back in Vegas. I think Zach had a giraffe or something. I don't I don't think I saw it. Yeah. Well, we have that a caller on the line. We do. No, well. well, thank you, Tim. Sorry. Well, you can't, can't, can't shut the host off. You can take the host out of the. Well, uh, welcome, Tim. Uh, the other Tim. What, what's up, buddy? Thank you. Well, I've been. So oh, I, I the other Tim. As- go ahead. No, go ahead. It's all yours. Uh, <laughs> quick, quick, I quick. I have two Asbury Park related questions. Yes. So I'm, I'm I'm heading there for the weekend, for the holiday weekend. Very nice. And my son is super into like retro ball type stuff. Okay. So I'm, I'm taking him to the Silver Ball Museum. And I know in your book you talked about it. And I'm yeah. trying to remember what high. What was the game? What was the it's called Gold Rush? It's called Gold score. Rush, and it's not there. Gold it's Rush. probably not there Gold anymore. Rush. So the machine I set the oh, high score anymore. on twice. Damn it! Yeah, okay. I think it's gone. Well, <laughs> look, you no, can't go. You go was... to the pinball museum. You can't miss. You can't miss. You can't miss. It's great. You can't. No, we've been there a couple of times, and it's great. Hmm? Um, my other question was: Do I risk going to see? Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes at the Stone Pony on the chance that Springsteen shows up. Um, look, you go see it because you then you do then you did it. I don't know what to yeah. tell you. 
Because if, if I tell you not to go and he shows up, you're going to be mad at me forever. And if I tell you to go and he doesn't show up, you're going to be mad at me forever. <laughs> that must yeah. be a bummer for that band, though, to just yeah. be always looking out in the crowd and seeing people kind of yeah. looking around. Yeah, like the show, <laughs> the show, they go to the show and then somebody like is looking at their phone. They're just like, he's in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then just like, half the room empties out yeah. immediately. Yeah. He ain't going. Jo- uh, Bruce ain't showing up. And I, no way. It was good. Bruce showed up, and then they just did blue suede shoes. They just did blue suede shoes. That's the other thing. He's going to show up and do rock around the clock. Yeah, he's not going to show up and do. He's not going to show up and do Jungle Land. <laughs> he's going to show up. Well, he's well, gonna sh- was, a, couple, a couple of years ago, I think it was like 2017. Yeah, I was on the boardwalk, and Southside Johnny was playing. I was there with my wife and kids, and we started walking away, and we started here here in Independence Day. I was like, that sounds like Springsteen, but I was like, it oh, couldn't wow. be. And we got home, and it was. Oh uh, well, then look, buddy, Monday. you gotta you gotta hedge your bets and go. But you can also go see Bruce yeah. Springsteen when he plays. <laughs> yes, he's going to be playing next year, and he will right. play for no, three I, hours. I All right, I know. thank you, Tim. I saw Have, him pop up let, with let, Southside. Last one. quick thing. Yeah, what? what, what can I say one last? Quick yeah, thing? Yeah, of course. Go. I just wanted to say, Tim, I loved your record. Um, Future is uncertain is my favorite track on it. Thank you so but much. But I also want to say, with all the stuff you have going on. Um, what a nice guy you are. Cause I, I private messaged you once about something on fear of death yeah. about technical stuff. And you, you got back to me in like 15 minutes. Look at that. And I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Tom, you can you. attest that I'm not, not, a, a, bad guy. Guy. No, not a bad guy. guy. Tim's a good guy. Tim's a good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Thanks for the call, okay, Tim. The thanks. other Tim. Both Bye, Tim. Love Tim's. That's yeah. probably why I wrote you back. I like yeah. Tim's final call of the show. Is it? Oh, best show. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Tom. How's it going? Good, good. Welcome, Thomas. Tom, the caller's like, let me get my phone out of the toilet real quick now that you picked up. What you got, buddy? Oh, is my quality bad? Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Um, <clears throat> well, two things. Uh, I was wondering now, because the other caller mentioned Crimson, I was wondering if you guys ever listened to the Roaches? The Yeah, I listened to that first Roaches 30. album. It's a great album. That's an amazing album. Yeah, that's... You know that song, Hammond song? Yeah. That's a good album. Yeah, I found out Robert Robert Fripp did all the guitar solos he on He produced that. that album. Yeah, it's that's an insane piece of work. I, I highly recommend it to Tim. I feel like it's kind uh, of I think Tim would out. like it, The Roaches. I don't know it. I'll check it it's out. A, it's a, a f- three sisters okay. who sang and had a just amazing... Chem- it's just it's, it's it, you could just, just check it out. I will the first album. It's, it's, it sounds like a gutter punk record, but it's not. It's not. Okay. No, it's it's because they're last. No, it's R O C H. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the Thank recommendation. You, Thomas. Anything else? No problem. Real quick, we no got to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. Real. Real quick. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I always felt that Tim had a little bit of New Jersey DNA, like Tom goes to the mayor. Mm-hmm. Gave me a serious New Jersey vibe. Well, it's the Philly. I was wondering thing. If it's, in... it's a joint. Con- I'm sorry. It's it's he's from you're it's from true. Philadelphia. I'm from Allentown, which is like a, about 40 minutes from mm-hmm. New Jersey, uh, the New Jersey yeah. County line. Yeah, and then I got asked. Speaking <laughs> of Allentown, yeah, I got asked to be this this kid who works for you. Works What's for his me. face, Vic? Yeah, Vic. Vic's, Vic. He's like, I, I do a Billy Joel thing. Yeah. And he's like, "Will you? Come oh on yes, it? would you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. yeah. I mean that that would be a thrill for us to have you come. He does he does a little bit like what you guys did with the Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yeah, the uh, Joel Hole. Yeah, and it's on our Patreon. And I was like, "What should I? Do I need to listen?" He's like, "Listen to the Nylon Curtain." And I'm just like, "Oh boy, oh, boy, that's not what you want to do." No, but um, you'll come with a good attitude. Yeah, I but will. you're going to be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. If there's a, if there's some, uh, I'll say it's like look. This song slaps. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of work put into that. <laughs> I'm well, only doing that to annoy. I think the stranger you. slaps. The stranger slaps. That's a that's a real oh, bop. Stranger, stranger yeah. does slap. Yeah. Well, he went ham. Thank you for the call, buddy. Thank you very much, Tom. Have a good. Well, that's my favorite thing when they clip off right before yeah, they're uh, done. To- Thanks, Tom, for the. De- <laughs> well, it's that time on the wall says we got to end the show. Where can people check out the well people can check out the new album High School is uh it's everywhere. It's, everywhere. it's out. 
People are, are they seem like they enjoy it. I got a very nice review in Pitchfork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was which, great. Which, you know, the numbering is an issue, of course. Sure, but you understand. But that's considered good, right? Oh, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a great, that's great. It's a great number. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not For those point snobs. Six. It's yeah. not an 8.6, which the uh, Sharpling Orser box got, but. Uh, wow. Yeah, 8.6. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> not going back to the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got an eight point. I think there's also. just you know how that works. There's somebody there that just that's a, a rat in the kitchen or whatever. It's just he's a stinker. I gotta he's, check. Let me check here. I think we got an eight point six and an eight point two, if I remember correctly. Well, and it's seven. The review, but written by Sam Sadomsky, uh -huh. Sadomsky or whatever his name is. It was a very it's nice, a beautiful review. review. Yeah, it was very. Nice. The review had. The review is much better than a seven point whatever. Right, and a seven point five is a is a respectable review. Oh, it's totally, a, it's a spe respectable number. It's amazing. Yeah. So, whatever. I shouldn't get ha I shouldn't get hung up. But it's it's you know the, this stuff sometimes I don't think it matters mm -hmm. like it used to because mm -hmm. now you can just listen to whatever you want whenever you want. Why do you even mm -hmm. need to hear a review? Yeah. Who Let's cares? See. Art of the Slap got an eight point five. <laughs> um. Mm. Live at Third Man. Oh, this one got hammered only a 7.8. Oh, jeez. Um, what year? Uh, oh, that was 2016. Oh, okay. Mm. The box Pretty set 8.8. <laughs> Did I say 8.6? It's 8.8. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> That's a high rating. Uh, yeah. Ooh, All right. Rock Run Roll only 7.7. .7. Which one? Oh. Rock Run Roll. That got a 7.7? .7. Yeah. That's yeah, great. When was it reviewed? Um. You do knew. Did Let's you see. see that thing where they reassessed, re reviewed things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was bananas. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I mean, sure, if you want to like re like reappraise something and go up, but to, mm -hmm. to dig, like my friends, the band Foxygen. Yeah. Great guys, uh, made some nice records. Yeah. They downgraded one of their albums. It's, that's ridiculous. Like, you don't get have to the go hell backwards. out of yeah, here. Why? What's the point? It's What's mean. the point? That's mean. Cause like, um, they gave Andrew WK a 0, 0. 0.0 on one of the wow. records. And then they kind of backtracked on that one. Right. And they gave uh, Sonic Youth, I think, got a, a Sonic Youth got one Sonic Youth album got hammered on there. I think it was also like a like a one point. Um, oh, wow. You know. Not well, that would have been one. embarrassing mm -hmm. if I did put this record out and felt really good about it. It was like a three or something. Yeah. <laughs> that would have felt, felt really Would be the worst number. Three, 2.3 <laughs> would probably feel the worst. <laughs> yeah. Like somehow. It's almost it's like, just give me the one. Because then it's yeah, clear. Then it's like a. You hate yeah. that. Then it's like metal machine music yeah. territory. Yeah. Then it's just like. It's, it's like, like, well, I'm doing something right. If you hate this, kinda, then I'm. Yeah. Yeah. If you go that low, but like. 4.1 might I, hurt. Yeah. A lot, right? Yeah. Like like this when is, they go low, we go, we go high. high. Thank you. We no. Just when they that. go low, we, we get high. Right? Ay, ay, ay. The <laughs> right? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> ba -na -na -na. You should do a skit about that on the show. Seinfeld now with weed being legal. Come yeah. on, in New York. What's the deal with? Indica. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. The, in the couch. What about Satina? Whole new George. Yeah. Whole new George. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. doing bong hits, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and George is just like, I'm switching to hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, George. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jerry, Jerry, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be growing some plants here. Yeah. Jerry, <laughs> that's going to be growing. Like, hey, uh, Jerry, I'm going to need to uh, run this extension cord. Yeah. <laughs> from your thing, I Cry need the electricity. Kramer, what are you doing? Don't grow drugs. It's legal. Don't you yeah. know you can go down to the store and buy it? You're running a game. You, you turned me into a drug lord. <laughs> Hello, Newman. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Be like, uh. Got any kush? <laughs> Your kush delivery is here. <laughs> oh, jeez. I made some brownies. Oh, we should do this. Just weed. Mm -hmm. like, Why don't we want to do one of those insufferable table reads? Live, you know, what <laughs> those <laughs> those like look for charity, of course. We should do a charity table read, yeah. and then we just reveal at the end it wasn't for charity. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's just like, look, this kind of sucked, yeah, but it goes to a good cause. Just, oh, by the way, yeah, not going to a good cause <laughs> <laughs> for profit. Yeah, it goes right in our pockets. Yeah, keeping all of it. Claro Kane, if That's I was. Name. Uh, if I was Evan Minsker or Sam Sadomsky, mm -hmm. ten point oh. Oh my god! Oh, that's how you are as a human. Oh, that well, I do have an album performer. too. I don't know. 
You knew that. I know. Or... Let It Be. Yeah. It's a great album. Claire's album's called Let It Be. Oh, cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you got the Beatles' "Let It Be." You got the replacements' "Let It Be." That's what I said. You got Claire's. Yeah. Let it kind be. of stole their joke. Yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. Tim Heidecker. I did a cover of "Let It Be" on my last album. You should check out Ten Point Out. Let it be. Thank you. People can check your tour dates out on at Tim Heidecker Live. It's uh, Tim Heidecker dot sauce. So we got this dot sauce. Oh, it's got yeah. the sauce going. <laughs> G Love and the special sauce. Yeah. Uh, dot com. Mm. No, people don't miss Tim this you're gonna live. get the stand up you're gonna get the songs it's a full package I can't wait for you to see this show it's gonna be great Claire O'Kane are you doing shows this summer yes I'll be in Winnipeg okay. oh, no. at some point in July oh no <laughs> <laughs> featuring oh, no. for my friend David Borey at Rumors Comedy Club in beautiful Winnipeg Okay, July looking up I'll be in. Um, I'll be doing my first college gig in yeah. August at Florida State University. Is out in in August, isn't it? Are we, well, I think there'd be nobody there. I should probably talk to somebody <laughs> about that. Oh no! Wait, I should talk to somebody about that. Yeah. Now this is one of those summer colleges. Florida in August <laughs> is supposed to be nice. That's no, a summer school for the dummies. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's happening. And then I'm I'm doing my solo show here in Los Angeles mm-hmm. um, on August 20th at the Elysian Theater. Great. I can't wait. 10 p.m. And that's the show that you had to postpone because you got the job on SNL? Yeah. Very exciting. I, I can't wait. It. Everybody, thanks for listening. Thanks for, uh, for we, we had tech problems, but we ended up doing a great show. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. And we will be back next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.